Welcome, everybody, it's on our new episode of the podcast, where today we're going to take a look at Luxray. We're going to be talking about how we individually would train this particular Pokemon and how we would use them in just everyday casual gaming. This is strictly non-competitive, very laid back, um, and just something to inspire all you trainers out there to not just go with the cookie cutter flow but get a little creative with every pokemon and use them in new unique ways that other people may not have thought of for starters um we're going to talk about uh some basic information about the pokemon in this case uh its abilities it's got three rivalry which its special attack and its standard attack will increase if it's facing off against a Pokemon of the same gender, you've got the Intimidate, which is very popular, where as soon as the Pokemon comes out into battle, it drops your opponent's attack stats. And its hidden ability of Guts, where its attack will increase by 50% as long as it's suffering a status like Burn, Paralyze, Sleep, Poison, Freeze. Um, its two best stats that you can come out with are its attack at 120 for base stat, followed up by his HP at 80, although his defense and special defense are right behind that at 79. Um, with me today are going to be Chase and Glenn, and we've each written out our notes. No one has talked to each other, so this is going to kind of be a surprise. And then we're also going to talk a little bit about our opinions of the Pokemon in general. So I think we'll start off with Chase. Um, <clears throat> how did you go with your build? Um, yeah, so Luxray was, I found, quite difficult because, you know, being an electric type Pokemon is specifically a physical attacking electric type Pokemon um, is very difficult to try and put together because there aren't very many physical electric moves. I think the best I had found was probably Wild Charge and, you know, that's got its drawbacks because it causes recoil damage. But yeah, um, I did find it quite tough to actually try and think of something, but you know what? I've come up with a build. I think it's pretty good. Um, I think it kind of does show off the potential that Luxray has. Um, so, you know, without any further ado, I'm just going to get into that. So, for, for, for my build, I chose... Well, the ability. I chose to go with Rivalry because... You know, I've noticed, or this might not necessarily be true, but in my experience, there are more often more male Pokemon in Wild Trainer battles and your your main story battles that are male. So that'll definitely boost its attack, giving it that, that extra edge. Um, IVs, if I were to IV train, which, you know, you don't, you won't normally do in a, in the story um, but you know, if I were to, I would go 31 IVs in speed, 31 IVs in attack, and 31 IVs in special attack. And we'll get to that just now. Um, nature, I would put a hasty nature on because I'm looking for that speed. Um, you know, just to try and get in the first hit. Um, EVs, again, if I were to, to EV train, I go 252 speed. 126 attack and 126 special attack. Um, held item, I would go for either a life orb or a terrain extender. Um, terrain extender, you'll get, you'll come to understand why once I go into the moves. And life orb, obviously, I'm looking for that higher damage output to go along with rivalry. Um, the moves I've chosen a wild charge for the physical move, thunder for his special move and to pair or well, what I think is going to pair quite nicely with Thunder is going to be Rain Dance because that brings Thunder's accuracy up to 100% and Thunder is a very hard hitting electric type move and you know if I'm looking for more damage I would go or I would set up electric terrain and that's why I might choose to go for that terrain extender to help um, boost the amount of turns I get for terrain. 
So yeah, that's my build. I mean, Rain Dance can also help if you got other Pokemon coming in, like maybe a Rain Dish Blast Toys or maybe a Swift Swim, whatever Pokemon gets Swift Swim. So, you know, that's my build. So what do you guys think? I actually like the way you went uh, both physical and special with him. Um, just giving him that mm-hmm, mixed attack mm-hmm. base. I, I like it too. It's actually kind of it, it's kind of similar to what I also had in mind for my build as well. But I really liked it, like because I think usually for most people they tend to focus more on either like the physical or the special side. So just you know having that like kind of backup, like you know maybe special attack like thunder that hits hard is a uh, is a very good like. Um, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Flexibility option. So, yeah. <laughs> and the electric terrain use also um, is going to help because of the fact that uh, if you if the if you're coming across somebody who's using a status using Pokemon, like you know Jigglypuff going, oh, I'm going to put you to sleep. At least the electric terrain is going to stop that from happening, which is good because that that's probably one of the most annoying things I find in. The casual battles you find that one trainer that has all the status effect guys that, that try to get you to, to fall asleep and it's just like oh great i'm now sitting target yeah especially when you're stuck to sleeping for at least one third oh, I... <laughs> <laughs> truth be told i that had actually slipped my mind i'd actually forgot that electric terrain doesn't allow any pokemon to fall prey to sleep yeah um mm-hmm. all right Glenn, how how about you? Uh, what did you do with your build? Okay, so like after looking at the notes, um, uh, not my notes, but the uh, the Pokemon itself, like its stats and everything, I was thinking like, okay, so this is where my similarities kind of go like hand in hand together for, uh, with what Chase came up with. So I, I definitely wanted to go with more of the special attacking though for, um, for Luxray. Only just because like it could be like another surprise factor, I guess, in in, in this case. So I, I would build him like modest or timid, depending on how you wanna, you know, if you wanna be faster, if you just wanna hit harder. Because he does have a base special attack of 95. And his base speed is 70, so technically that's kind of slow compared to like I guess like more of the meta stuff, but I mean like, hey, you know, <laughs> try to get as much as you can, right? So just max out the EVs on those um, if possible. And like, I would just like, like what Chase said, I would just definitely like like stick in Thunder on there for like that heavy hitting move. Uh, Discharge could also be another valuable option, especially if you're going in like a 2v2 battle kind of thing. Um, uh, oh, so I guess my perspective is more on like the competitive aspect. So a little bit different in that regard as well, because you know meta and everything, everybody would go like physical luxury. Um, I definitely okay. cannot, <laughs> yeah, but I definitely cannot be running guts if I'm going special because I think guts only raises the physical attack, I believe, right when it has the status effect. Yeah. So I probably yeah, have physical. to go. Yeah, I probably have to go with intimidate still. Um, definitely pretty helpful if I'm going up against like a ground type. Pokemon, most of the time, I, I'd like to say they're physical based, so at least it would help minimize the damage, if anything. I'm not entirely sure. Um, what else? Oh, so like, since it is more on the competitive aspect as well, I was thinking like in a 2v2 kind of perspective. So uh, Chase mentioned using electric terrain. So I was also thinking of using Pincurchin as like his setup partner as well. So like, you know, calling both of them out onto the field. Because you do get that um, electric terrain setup, um, and and then Pincurchin can also learn Rain Dance as well. So putting that into effect, granted it's like super slow, so hopefully you can still get it off. Maybe you can like slap on a Protect on Luxray, uh, have it use Protect first turn, get that. Um, try to see if you can get Rain Dance off with Pincurchin, and then next turn just you know just. You know, hitting hard with that thunder because you know you're not missing or anything unless the opponent switches out to something else. But there, there's that. I like that option. Um, 
I think he also has, yeah, so he also has the ability to learn Volt Switch and Snarl as well, which is already pretty good in my opinion. Like, you can run, you know, kind of supportive Luxray in that regard as well with the Snarl, you know, lower those special attacks, um, switch out when you need to. And I think the most important factor that I, like, the, the first thing that actually hit me that I probably should have started off with was the fact that I did want to partner up with Pincurchin. So, uh, the, the cool thing is both of those Pokemon can also learn the, the Isle of Armor move, Rising Voltage. So, like, with that electric terrain up, you know, I think it does, like, double damage, right? As long as the, uh, the terrain is a, yeah, 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 so the move's power doubles. And, like, that would be, like, hella awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually, uh, totally forgot about Volt Switch. <laughs> yeah i was surprised too like i was wondering I was like does it learn it does it learn it and then like i'm looking down the list and i'm like oh it's right there in the tm slot right there <laughs> well it's also it's also a good uh get out card too you know it's like yeah. oh the only downside is is that if someone is immune to the attack and like if you're fighting against a ground type that that attack does nothing and you don't get to swap and now you're in a really bad spot yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah that's, that's the one does, downfall about that move. Does Lightning Rod also negate Volt Switch? I'm assuming it would. I think it would. I've never seen it. I think it should, though. Because it does might, negate I'm the sure. attack, for sure. So I, I would say it probably would. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I went a little weird with my, with my build. Um... I went for I went using guts and the flame orb, um, so okay. that this way okay. I can I, I can self force activate guts after one turn, um, and I went all in with my uh, physical attack IVs, and the remaining I actually split between defense and special defense because, like you said, Luxray is slow, so I wanted to make sure that he could at least take a hit or two um, before going mm-hmm. down, and if it allows me to set up uh, guts. There, there, and I can start to really do some interesting things. So, the moves I ran with were Wild Charge, obviously because it's his strongest attack that he can learn. It's his, it's running off of his best stat, and yeah, I'm gonna take a, lo- a huge hit in the in the HP department. But I'm hoping between the uh, the stat boost from Guts and the the training that it's gonna it's gonna basically put on the hurt on whatever I hit with. Um, it also learns Ice Fang, so I was thinking to myself, like, you know, if I'm if I have an open up and there's a ground type that I've got to deal with, Ice Fang's a good cover move because not only is it going to be super effective against the ground types, which is Luxray's only weakness, um, there's a chance to flinch and a chance to freeze off of that one attack, and those I, I like that. That's one of the things I love is those those side chances. Um, followed up with Night Slash. For the high crit, once again, since it's a physical attack, high high physical stats, guts, I'm looking at a lot of damage if it procs, and just on the off chance that someone drops something I don't like. I threw Roar in there for fun. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> aha, I've got this monster coming out, Roar. Wait, what? <laughs> the only problem with Roar is that it's a neg six speed priority, so it's always going to go last. Hmm. That's the, I think I, I may end up switching that one out, but when I was looking when I was first looking at this, it's like yeah that could that could be fun. It, it could be fun as well, like if uh, they if they just switch that monster in, so it's like it wouldn't even attack anyways, right? So like, <laughs> well, it, it works like if you if you drop it with uh, on team base like you guys were doing um, something like say Clefairy with Follow Me. Ugh. All of those moves now flip over to Clefairy, who's just, you know, can sit there and take it. And meanwhile, it's like, Luxray's like, haha, by the way, goodbye. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, I've, uh, I mean, I, other than that, I've really got nothing else. I mean, what do you guys think about the rest of the moves? I mean, you know, it, it's definitely an interesting take on Luxray. Um,. I don't know. I think it's kind of a mix between your sort of conventional and totally like 
you can't even see the box anymore kind of thing <laughs> so oh that's another thing too it can also learn facade like when you think about it as well that's like extra damage with that guts orb combo that you know that you're using as well yeah that's true um kind of part of me wishes that um the move ion deluge wasn't removed for sword and shield because between the guts facade the burn ion deluge would make facade insanely powerful because um for those who don't know ion deluge was a move that um had a priority one i believe and it made all normal type attacks electric attacks till the end of turn so could you imagine an electric facade running off of guts? That's pretty sick. <laughs> I mean, you know. It's, it's like it's like using an Alolan Golem with Galvanize. Oh jeez. <laughs> yeah, one of these days I'll tell I'll, I'll tell the, the folks uh, the story about how I worked that one back in Sun and Moon days before there was even uh, I'm sorry, uh, back in X and Y days before we had a Alolan Golem, how I managed to pull that trick off with that with Golem <laughs> but um, keeping with uh, keeping with Lux Wraith, what do you guys opinions are of this particular Pokemon? Um, just in general, like how do you feel about using it, it um, just at all? Um, you know, I'm gonna say. Go ahead. Uh, I, I was just gonna say, you know, like I said at the start, I think being a physical electric type definitely does hinder it a bit, and I think, you know, Luxray would definitely benefit if it did, in some way, manage to gain that dark type, because I think that would also give it a massive edge. Um, because. Right now, I personally, I think Luxray is a bit lackluster. Um, that might be a bit harsh, but... You know, I wouldn't actively go and pick one up for a party team or... Or even for competitive. Um, I'd only really shiny hunt for one. I gotta admit so, that shiny does look good. I, it's good looking shiny, I will admit. Yeah, good color scheme. Like a dark yellow and the black. Pretty good. But yeah, I think that's all I have to say about Luxray. Um, For me, back then, on the original Gen 4 games, I would always try and make sure I get a Shinx. Like, just the fact of having an electric Pokemon on my team in that game just already felt great, and I could get it like super early. Or more or less, it's kind of super early. And when I first found out about its form as a Luxray, like when it turns it into Luxray, I was like, wow, that thing looks really badass, you know, like I never even thought about its stats or anything or what kind of moves it has. Like that is one cool looking mod and it's an electric type. I got to get it, you know, <laughs> but other than that, um, I feel like it. Uh, yeah, I feel like as a physical electric type, it does kind of get the short end of the stick as well. Because, I mean, only having stuff like, was it Thunder Fang and, like, Wild Charge to actually dish out damage with kind of sucks. Because, I mean, Thunder Fang is fine because you, you do get that paralysis possibility or that, or that flinch. But Wild Charge, the fact that it has to be a recoil move kind of sucks. It's it, You have to have, like, I, I, I don't know, like, make sure you have your items on hand or if you're in 2v2 or something make sure you have like something with healing capabilities but i mean i feel like you could do better like for a mon that's on four legs and is an electric type i feel like they should have at least made his speed a little bit higher maybe like i don't know base 80 85 maybe and then it turned out pretty well i mean It's still a cool mon. I I would definitely like grab into my party, shiny hunt for it. But like in terms of like using it in like competitive, it's kind of iffy. Unless I'm just having fun with it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, 
I I definitely agree with you guys. Um, where we're talking about it's you know it's its look is outstanding. I think it's one of probably the better designed Pokemon out there. Um, there's actually and the funny thing is is that I, I tend to like a lot of these particular stylized ones like uh, Pyro. It's got a very similar look to Luxor. As a matter of fact, that's what I thought when I first saw Pyro. I was like, that looks like Luxor. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it's shiny is absolutely insane. I love it. I absolutely love it. And um, I mean, but you're right. It's the 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 fact that it's slow. It's an electric type. It's one major weakness is common as all. I mean, one one hard earthquake and that's it. You're done. Call it a day. And I don't really see a uh, luxury tied with an air balloon to be all that menacing. <laughs> But uh, Chase, I, what Chase had said about making it like an electric dark type, now I didn't even think about that, and it would definitely make things a little bit easier to deal with uh, uh, with Luxray because he's got a decent move pool and some really good dark moves um, that are definitely would work well with his typing. Well, I'm sorry, not with his typing, but with his stats, uh, since a lot of the dark moves that he learns are all physical attack moves. Um, so yeah, having him being a dual dark type would, would be incredible. Um, and here's hoping that maybe in the future games, we'll actually see something like that. You know, Hisui and, uh, Luxray. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> that would be really great. Or like some kind of evolution or something, right? Maybe make it a little bit better. Yeah. Or I guess spectral evolution. Yeah. Um, but like I, um, I was betraying a thought here, <laughs> but like comboing uh, Luxray would actually be helpful too. Like I used, uh, I, I tended to, to use Clefairy a lot because Friend Guard is such an amazing ability, and the ability, for the uh, move uh, Life Dew would help in this case keep, especially mitigating the guts damage. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, a lot of this, a lot of Luxray by himself just seems a little underwhelming like it, it's he's good but there's just a little bit lacking and it isn't unless you pair him up correctly with either a move already in play or a pokemon that can bring something to the table that will just push him over that edge um it, it just feels like he's he's just missing just that little bit but um Otherwise, I think I think it's a it's a decent mod, and I like I'm making it a mission to go through all these guys and find best ways to use them, or, or just like interesting, innovative ways to use him. Um, because not I don't I don't think that he alone, um, being even though he's got a, such a high uh, attack stat, I think there's he still has some versatility in him because he's got he has a lot of special abilities too, or special moves that he can use. Um, scary face attract which would be great to counter with with uh, rival when you think about it um you know um what's some of the other moves helping hands fake tears like he's slow but there's moves that he gets that give him that priority so even if you decide to invest in his defenses let's say it makes him a little bit beefier you know I mean, yeah, de definitely. What you're saying does does have merit to it, and um, you mentioned an an evolution. Well, I'm not sure if it was you or Glenn. I, I'm sure it was you, but maybe in history we could see um, a special type variant of Luxray that can, you know, take. Yeah, I mean, I could definitely... I, 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 anything is possible at this point, because we don't even know what we're getting. Um, yeah. We just know that it's Gen 4-based, so this is why we started with Luxury to begin with. This is true. Um, oh, that's another thing, too, about it. Um, I think, like, me and probably a bunch of other people have probably uh, noticed as well. But, like, Luxray is... Like, the way it looks and everything... Um, I feel like I feel like it could um, it, it, it really got shafted on the, the point that it could also it could have also been a dark type as well mm -hmm. I think that was like another uh, bright point that they uh, didn't include 
uh, or they should have included for it. So if they put that into like the new Gen 4 stuff, or like Legends of Arceus or something, then uh, I think that worked out pretty well as well. Um, is there anything else you guys want to add to uh, our discussion of Luxray before we call it for a day? Uh, I'm I'm cool with what we've covered. I think there's I think, there's I think no use in, in beating it. Yeah. What about you, Glenn? Um, I think that's all I have at the moment from what I can think of. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it for me. I mean, I, I keep staring at that at the uh at the images and I'm just like, yeah, that's that that that's such a sick looking mon. Um well, I want to thank everybody for joining us. Um, much shorter than our first episode. <laughs> but um, this is something, this is a segment that we want to try and keep going with. If you guys are interested, let us know. Um, and also, feel free to let us know what you would, uh, how would you guys uh, decide to train a Luxray should you have the opportunity. You know, anything goes is in the in the Sword and Shield meta. Um however you would want to build him you know there are no wrong ways to build him no matter what anybody says i think and i think every mon has a place i think every mon has a has a style and it's all depending on who you're training you know who the trainer is so um go out there get looking get creative have fun with the game which is what these entire series is about uh, thank you once again everybody for joining us and have a wonderful day bye ciao